Can you describe what rugby means to you in one word? One word? Oh. Uh, enjoyable. An outlet. Family. Life. So I started playing rugby at around about 11 or 12 and to be honest there's a lot of reasons why I started playing rugby. One of the main ones because my granddad used to play and another one was uh, during school I was very uh, big into sport and obviously I, I used to play football back in the day and I got bored of it and then uh, yeah rugby was just something else that was there and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed, I enjoyed uh, tackling people and everything and then I got into it a lot more and yeah I'm where I am today so. In year seven at secondary school, we started doing it in PE for the first term and um, my PE teacher persuaded me to join the after school club and start playing from then. Well, I really wanted to get into it and then Ben, our former coach, came in and we had some like PE lessons and he recommended that I should join a rugby club, so that's how I got into it. My dad always played and my brother played and I was basically brought up at the rugby club, so why not? Yeah, same. I wanted to change in um, sport because I've been like doing a lot of fighting recently and that's not really involved in the team you know there's no social aspects to fighting and you know you're not really helping other people you're only helping yourself so I did it partially for the team reason. Um, I started playing rugby when I was seven years old um, because we had a local coach um, from the local professional rugby team London Irish come to our primary school and he ran a tag rugby session and I went home and I said straight away to my parents that I wanted to play rugby. So that's where it all started. I was about 10 years old. My dad uh, thought I needed an outlet to at least a bit of aggression. So he took me down to the local rugby club and yeah, just fell in love with it straight away. Uh, I started playing rugby around seven and because my dad used to play, he got me into it. I started playing at eight years old, my local rugby club, I just played because my, uh, my dad played there, my loads of family members did, so um, yeah, we joined, joined up when we were pretty young. So I started playing when I was about five years old, um, I used to follow my, my older brother down on the Sunday morning, We'd, my dad would play on the Saturday and then I'd go and watch those guys and then on the Sunday my brother would play and kind of tagged along and stood on the wing, didn't really know what to do, kind of kept out of the way and then as I got a little bit older, got more involved and um, yeah, it kind of went from there really. So my, my sort of local rugby club back home was where I, where I started off. I've been playing for so long now, I just I can't imagine not playing it at uni. Uh, firstly, it was just because I had a long break from rugby at six when I broke my leg in year 13. So it's just getting back into it, getting more confident about myself. I gained a lot of weight, lost a lot of confidence. So that really helped me straight away, lost weight, fell into a great friendship group and just... Like I'm living with two of the boys who I started playing with in the first year, so that's really helping that sense as well. So, Because uh, I want to keep playing rugby for as long as I can, really. Um, I just enjoy it so much, and I love playing rugby so much that um, I just want to keep going until a part of me falls off or a doctor tells me to stop, really. So it's kind of a no-brainer to say I should be playing at uni. Everyone's boyhood dream is to is just turn pro. That's the, that's the, like, the end goal. But at the, at the minute, realistic goals to help the team, help my team through and uh, I, yeah, just go as far as I can at the minute. Um, <laughs> I just see myself um, playing rugby really. Uh, it doesn't have to be for a big team. Um, I wouldn't necessarily like to be for like a little team. I still like to play relatively competitively. Um, so yeah, no, I just, I just see myself playing rugby really. Just want to keep going for as long as I can. Knew from quite quite a young age that was always what we wanted to do. Me, both me and my brother play here, so it was both our goal and our sort of our dream to to play professional rugby. So um, yeah, say pretty much from when I started playing, it was always the dream. It became a bit more realistic when you when you're at college and you start hearing things and playing at a slightly higher level, and then you can really really go for it. Uh, I think I I probably made that decision quite early. I got involved with uh, the academy at Newcastle um, from age sort of 13 and it, I 
it was probably from then when I started to to really sort of take things a lot more serious. Um, pushed into England under 16s and 18s at, at school, and then before I left school, I was lucky enough to sort of sign my first professional contract from there. So I, I definitely had it clear in my head as a young a youngster that I wanted to wanted to do that, but I had to make sure that everything else was in place in case in case it didn't. So I had to make sure I still did all my school work and everything, and and then was lucky enough to, to get a contract straight from school. I think as a person it's taught me to like value everyone's like key strengths and things and how some people are better at other things and it's actually helping each other become better at everything and like sometimes it takes taking a step back to realise what you add to the group or like what other people can add like value wise. Um, I think as a person I've become more confident so like before I wasn't very, a very quiet person but now, like, during a session, I'll speak up more. Yeah, during school, I just, I, d I didn't really, uh, I didn't really have, like, concepts of, uh, of anything. I just thought, I, d I didn't really do nothing in school either. I just kept on getting sent out, kept on getting excluded and everything. But then when I joined rugby, it taught me discipline and it taught me self, uh, self-worth and everything. And uh, since then, I've noticed a big change in literally everything. Like not everything I do is wrong. Not that, that sounds really depressing, but like sometimes I have something. to. Sometimes you have to believe in yourself, even if you think that you can't do it, and just give it a go anyway. Because there's like twenty other girls that believe in you. Um, I've definitely gained confidence. It's inspired me to lose weight. It's yeah, it's shaped my like, the way I've had to be people. Like locker room, like joking around every minute. It's like it's I bring that everywhere I go. Hopefully, so just that's kind of how it's affected me. Uh, it's given me amazing people skills like it's given me a lot of confidence when being in with a group of people sort of like the same age as me and people who are the same gender as me um, and it's really shown me how to work as a team so to not work as an individual and just for myself but how working as a team you can achieve a lot more than what you would have thought initially um, and there's also good leadership skills as well like being able to captain a couple of teams that I've been involved in previously it's been a massive honour, but at the same time, it's shown me how to, to lead a group of people and lead a group of people that you necessarily wouldn't have met before unless it had been for rugby. So, uh, It's made me a lot more confident. It's made me believe in my own ability a bit more. And it's given me that uh, social side of like social boost as well. I think probably you probably mature a bit, uh, mature a bit earlier. You're sort of chucked into environments with like, well, with adults while you're still like 16, 17. And so you, it requires you to mature mature a bit bit quicker and so you can fit in in the environment you've been put in I think it's probably probably shaped me a little bit more I think I had to I certainly remember as a, as a younger player I, I probably had to grow up a little bit quicker than some of my friends so I left left home I was still 17 when I left home and you know I had to learn how to fend for myself and cook and do my own washing and stuff like that so I think it, it probably gave me um, a perspective of growing up a bit quicker when my mates were still either living at home or gone to university or whatever so I think that that certainly shapes you and I think as well it, it puts you into uh, the sort of wider world from an early earlier age you know it's, it's a harsh environment in professional sport it's a, a dream job and everyone loves it but it is it is a tough business to work in uh, and I think that definitely makes you sort of thick skin which hopefully will help you on in later life. It's Colin's birthday! Happy birthday Colin! Happy birthday Colin! Happy birthday, Colin. Happy birthday, Colin. Shout out to Colin! <laughs> so, just start you off with, um, if you were going to be any chocolate bar, what would you be? Oh, any chocolate bar? Um, be? Potentially a crunchy. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't had a... Well, I actually had one the other week, so I haven't had them for a while, so 